Hi guys, welcome back to my channel of my life and our world. My name is Tatiana and welcome back to another video. I think this is like my fifth or sixth video and I know I have not been good with the videos. I I understand my last video like I was really happy when I posted it but now that I look back at it I'm like oh it was not my best and it was because I'm so stressed with school and I just have a lot of stuff going on but this is probably gonna go up late um, this is probably not the right day for this video to go up but I just want to give you guys a simple natural prom makeup look so this is going to be for everyone who maybe you're not the best set makeup or maybe you don't like using all the products or you don't want to go hard with all the techniques like you just want something that's going to make your eyes pop your lips pop your skin look nice really fresh and dewy and glowy and that's what you want to look like then i would say keep on watching this video to get this look i'm going to start out from the beginning and give you all the tips and tricks that you need to achieve it and i love you guys and i hope Hope you enjoy all right guys so i am bare faced there's nothing on my skin except some moisturizer that reminds me let me put some some chapstick on that is something that i always advise everyone to do when they're doing their makeup for a big event is moisturize early so <laughs> the one that i'm using is the bomb.com by glossier this is their um mint version Okay, so I'm going to be taking two different primers. The first one that I'm going to be using is the Professional uh, by Benefit. And this is a classic. Everyone uses this at some point in their makeup career. Trust me, it is a lifesaver and you're going to want to put this on because you're going to be sweating and you're going to be oily and you're going to be dancing. And this is something that is just going to make sure that everything does not get too shiny. So, I'm going to zoom you in now a little bit. Sorry if I look over here, I have my little mirror. So, I'm just putting that in the places where I get the most oily. I have combination skin, and it gets really oily in the middle, in the T-zone, and then it gets very dry on the outside. If you guys watched my skin video, you guys will probably see that my skin has gotten a little better. You can see all of the discoloration in the camera, but you can see discoloration here, around to here, but the thing is my skin isn't like breaking out. This is just discoloration and dark marks from pimples that I've had in the past but this isn't like new breakout so I'm really happy about that I really feel like my birth control which looks like this I feel like it's definitely been helping and I've been on it for about almost two months now and I'm really happy with it so I'm gonna continue doing that and I'm glad I did not get on all the antibiotics and hardcore medication uh, the dermatologist told me to do Anyway, so my skin is primed for that. The next thing, I know this isn't technically primer, it's strobe cream. This is by MAC and it is in the shade Gold Light. So for this version, I'm going to put um, a decent amount because I want to look very fresh, very glowy, very youthful. Um, and this is not oily at all. I'm going to put it a little bit in the areas that I do normally get oily just because I still want to look alive. I just don't want to look, have like my foundation slipping off my face. So I'm just going to rub that in. I'm like trying to decide, are you too close? Oh yes. If you can see, it just gives a natural sheen to the skin. It makes it look so healthy. I'm going to put a little bit up here on my nose. And I just love when the forehead is glowy. Not oily, but glowy. So. Mm. And now it just looks super moisturized. Okay. I'm going to take my NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. So this is technically not a full coverage foundation and that's exactly what I want. 
I am doing this because it does have a little bit of sunscreen. So if you are going to be out in the sun taking pictures before you go to dinner, before you go to prom, this is going to be fine for that to keep your skin protected. But it's not going to feel cakey. It's not going to feel too thick. It's still going to feel like your skin, which is awesome. I use this all the time. I rarely use full coverage foundation. Okay, so I'm going to dot this all around my face. I've had this color since um, winter time. I got it a little tanner then. And now it's like the perfect shade. Okay, so I am gonna put a little bit here. And I am gonna put a little, mm, not yet. I'm not gonna put it on my eyelids yet. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to buff it out. So I'm taking a Morphe M439 brush. This is in the Jaclyn Hill uh, set that she picked all the brushes that were her favorite and put them in an, uh, her own set. And I got that for Christmas, I think. And literally, I use it every single day. But I love this brush, so I'm just going to buff it into the skin. As you can see, it still looks like my skin, which I want. Okay, so if you can see, it definitely made my skin tone look just a lot more balanced and natural but just a little bit more even so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go in with some concealer so i'm going to do different type of ones because the two concealers that i'm using are very different and texture and kind of like what they do to the skin so the first one that i'm going to be using is the glossier stretch concealer and this is in the shade medium so just to let you guys know, none of my videos, this one in particular, is not sponsored by Glossier. I love Glossier. Like, it is one of my favorite brands all the way from skincare to their makeup line. I love just about everything. I have not tried every single product that they have, but I have tried a lot of them. And there's not a product that I hate or a product that I dislike. I definitely have my favorites and I'm definitely going to do a review on them once I have like a lot of their a lot more of their products. But yeah, I just wanted to let you know that it's not sponsored if I talk about them a lot, but if I became a Glossier rep, I would be the happiest person in the world. So if Glossier you are watching this, I love you and I love everything that your brand stands for and please make me Glossier rep. Okay, I'm done ranting. Okay, so I'm going to take this Glossier Stretch Concealer and I'm just going to put that not right under my eyes, but just in the center of the face. So, just around here. If you can see, it definitely has some coverage, but it's not full either. And it's not drying at all. I hate, I hate concealers that are super drying. I like them natural that if my skin is has any dry patches you're not gonna see them it's not gonna cling to it now the only thing about this product I have really prominent creases under my eyes like the skin there just likes to like bag a little bit or crease and so with most concealers that I have unless they're like super like they're just gonna stick and be done um they're gonna crease on me and this one because it is very movable it's very hydrating and it's not gonna like dry down and be totally matte it will crease if i put it directly under my eyes so that's why i don't do that and i don't think that's a bad thing about this product some people it totally works for them under their eyes and some people don't mind creasing but me in particularly i just cannot deal with that again so I'm just gonna, this is the excess I'm putting. It's not going, it's not like all the stuff under my eyes. The next one that I'm gonna be taking is the Maybelline Fit Me. So I'm only gonna be putting 
a little bit. Okay, since that is a little dark, I'm also going to take the Catrice High Coverage. And I'm going to barely put this on. Okay. So as you can see, as you can see, I do not have that much on. Okay. And with that, I'm just going to buff it out too. Now I'm going to take this brush, which is the Morphe E8. I know this is mostly used for contour, but I'm just going to go over my concealer a little bit. And any other areas. Okay, now I'm going to be going in with a beauty sponge. This is the one by Morphe, and I'm going to go all over the skin. The reason I do this is because I wanted to pick up any excess foundation, concealer, anything that just is lying on top of the skin and is not actually doing anything because I don't want to look cakey for no reason. I want this to be very natural. So I'm just going over my eyes just a little bit because I am going to put eyeshadow primer when I'm done setting all of this. I'm going to take... My Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is get a little bit of the powder and just dust it under the eyes. Hold on, I'm going to go back in with a sponge. Make sure I don't have any creases. And then go directly with the powder. The reason that I do this is because I don't want to set creases because that doesn't make any sense. I don't want there to be creases. So I have to set it as soon as I buff it out. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with my sponge and I'm just going to dab this into the skin. I'm just doing this because you can still see the shine through it um, on the high points of my face, but I just don't want the makeup to move around. I want all of the products that I put on after my skin, um, put on my skin after this, don't cling to it. And I just don't want to be oily. I'm going to take a little bit more, just a little, and I'm barely going to bake, okay? Alright, I'm going to be taking the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I'm just going to take some of that on this Morphe R2 brush, and I'm just going to buff it into my skin. I like to go between going like like this and smiling because I want it to look bronzy. I don't want it to just be a contour. So now I'm going to take this little brush. This is the Morphe R437. So I'm just going to take a little bit on this brush and just define it just a little more. I'm going to take... The Morphe R573, and I'm going to just take a little bit of the butter bronzer, and I'm put that right on my nose. All the way up. This is just to give your face a little bit more dimension. You're going to be taking a lot of pictures on prom night, and you're going to want to make sure that your nose does not not fall flat in the pictures you don't want to look 
all one color you want to have some dimension so that's why you put color on the outside you make the center of your face brighter so that it just looks like your face is more chiseled blush okay so i just got these from glossier and these are the cloud paints seamless cheek color and i got two colors i got dusk and i got beam so i like to mix these together so i'm just gonna take this and a little goes a very long way do not put too much on so i'm just gonna barely dot it on mm -hmm. I honestly recommend using your fingers for this because the warmth of your fingers is really just going to melt it into your skin. You don't need a, um, a brush for that. I'm going to take the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush by Tarte in this shade Celebrated. And it's a very light pink. Just to set this a little bit. Make sure it doesn't move. Perfect. Mm okay so now that we got that done now it is time to focus on the eyes and then we'll do highlighter last all right i scooted you way in i'm sorry if you feel uncomfortable because i know i do but i just wanted you guys to see the eye look very closely instead of like trying to see what i'm doing from far away so the first thing i'm going to do really quick is i'm going to put some urban decay eyeshadow primer potion on my eyelids i've been using this stuff for forever and um it's the ball so and it lasts for a while so now i'm gonna go straight in with just a tad of concealer And this is just to make sure that my eyes, the eye itself, like the skin, does look the same color as the rest of my face. Because if you're, the skin of your eyes, like your eyelids, why do I keep saying your eyes? Your eyelids. If it looks really light, it's going to look like you just bronzed the rest of your face, which obviously is the truth. Like we don't want it to look like that. Okay, so I'm going to take the Tarte Let in Bloom Tarte Palette. Obviously, just said that. And I'm going to take it in the color Charmer, which is a very light white shade. Okay, so the brush that I'm going to be taking is the Morphe R37, and I'm just going to take, in this same palette, I'm going to take Smarty Pants, and this is just a soft little brown, and I'm just going to put that in my crease. All right, so I'm going to take Jet Setter in that palette with Morphe M573. I think this is the one I also took for my nose. I'm just going to wipe it on my hand a little bit and make sure. Okay, taking Jet Setter and I'm going right in that little corner. I'm gonna take my Jaclyn Hill 
Morphe palette. Mm, I was so excited to get this palette. And I love using it. I don't use it every day because I don't wear makeup every day. But when I get to use it, I'm like, I feel like an artist. It's so beautiful. I have so many colors. Okay. I know I sound like a weirdo. Take this beige color. It's just another transition. I just like the color of this one. So I'm just going to add it on top. Okay. I'm going to take a slightly darker color it's basically the same color but just a shade deeper and i'm just gonna put that in the corner okay eyes have a lot more dimension now okay now i'm gonna take it's almost like a plum burgundy but not that dark just like a very good mauve color and i'm just gonna take a little bit of that on this Morphe M513. I'm going to take this really pure gold shade in the Morphe palette. It's in the top right. I'm just going to take it with my finger blow some of it off good so I'm just gonna take a little under eye shader brush where it be and this is a morphe m432 i'm just gonna take literally a mix of all the little transition shades i'm just gonna take the ones from morphe and i'm just gonna put that under my eyes Alright, I'm moving on to the brows. I know that not everyone's favorite part is the brows, but I've never done it on my channel before, so I'm just going to show you how, to, how I do it, and maybe I'll skip through it on the next video, because I'm doing my brows exactly the same for the simplified and easy version as I am for the glam one, because my brows are my brows, and I don't want them to look... There's not going to be any difference. Alright. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Chocolate. I was soft brown, but because my hair has a little bit more red tint in it, you can't really see it right now because it's wet, but it does, have, it does have a little red in it, so I wanted my brows to match that, so the chocolate does have a kind of um, auburn little undertone to it, so that's why I went with this one when I went and got them during the sale at Ulta. Okay. Okay, and then what I do is I get the other side of the spoolie and I just brush it out. Alright, so now I'm going to be taking Glossier's Boy Brow in the color Medium. And guys, if you have not tried Glossier's Boy Brow, this is one of their staple products. 
and it is literally the best. There's so many people that I know that love this product and I try to get more people to get on it because if you're not into doing your makeup a lot and you're not into like penciling in your brows or you have small little baby hairs like me, this is for you. It is so good. They have clear as well, black, light, everybody, you got to try this. All right, so I'm gonna just brush through them. Alright guys, so I zoomed you out because I'm not going to be doing eyeliner for this look. I know a lot of girls are really terrified of eyeliner and it takes a lot of practice. So if you do not know how to do eyeliner, please do not do it on your prom night. Don't do it. You're going to screw it up. You're going to ruin the rest of your eye makeup and you're just going to get really flustered and frustrated and you're just going to yell at your mom and just don't do it. <laughs> I'm sorry mom if that ever happened no that, that happened with me with um false lashes which is something that we're also not going to be doing tonight uh false lashes are just an extra little thing that if you want to do it's totally up to you but if you don't want to like be all glam I advise you not to do lashes because if you're not used to them you're gonna like think that there's something in your eye the whole night and if they come off you're not gonna know what the heck to do because you might not have extra glue with you this is a whole process so no eyeliner and no eyelashes so yeah we're gonna move on from that and I think we're just gonna go straight for mascara all right so I'm gonna take the Shiseido eyelash curler since we're not going to be doing false lashes, please use an eyelash curler. It just helps a lot. My eyelashes go down and they're thin and they're not very dark. So, um, yeah, these help a lot. Okay, so the two um, mascaras that I really like right now are the Catrice Cosmetics Ultra Black Volume Mascara Lashes to Kill with Black Diamond Powder. And then the Essence Volume Stylus 18 Hour lash extension mascara gosh mascara names are so freaking long who has time to read all this okay i'm gonna be using the same two mascaras in this video and the next so if this doesn't excite you i'm sorry but these mascaras are so freaking good the catrice one is very different from the other one so i like to go in with that one first and just get the the lashes coated from bottom to top i like to blink into the mascara wand to really get the roots in there and it goes all the way up yes Ooh, you guys see this right and I do not have good eyelashes Ooh. okay other side oh this is not gonna go well okay so I'm gonna take this one the brushes are very different and it's much thinner just the overall vibe of this mascara is very different. So I'm going to go in with this on the bottom and then I'm going to coat the top lashes again. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to be doing is going in with some highlighter. So I'm going to use a stick one first. This is from Glossier in the color Quartz. This is our Halo Sticks, Halo Scope Sticks. And I'm just going to put that right on the high points of my face. This is just going to give something for the powder highlight to stick onto. Honestly, if you guys just like this, this is very natural not to in your face. And it will look so good with everyone's skin and I won't look like you're trying too hard but you see how it still gives that nice little sheen right on my nose right on my cupid's bow under my eyebrow I forgot what the frick it's called alrighty now I'm just gonna go in with the hint of powder highlight this is the essence pure nude highlighter okay so i'm just gonna take a little bit on a morphe m510 and just go right over it if you can hear my family arguing in the background i'm sorry i live with my family i love them to death and that is just reality i'm not gonna go yell at them to be quiet because this is not 
my house this is everyone's house and I'm just doing something I love doing so I'm not gonna go yell at them so if you can hear them just listen Ooh, yes. now just the lips I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit okay so I'm gonna be taking the Milani color statement lip liner in all four all natural these things are so I'm gonna take the Urban Decay lipstick. This is a mini one in 1993 Comfort Matte. I'm just gonna go in the corners. And then I'm gonna take the Smashbox in B Legendary Lipstick Audition. I think that's the shade. It's like a very light nude and I'm just gonna put that in the middle it's gonna make them plump a little bit all right guys so this is the final look I hope that you guys love it I know my hair is not done because I'm not going to prom right now and I'm just going out to look at cars with my dad but I just wanted to film this for you um so obviously just this is the face, this is the makeup, it's not the clothes or the hair, so if this is what you want your makeup to look like, then I hope that this video was extremely helpful for you. I have no idea how long this video is going to be or how long it will take me to edit, but I really hope that you guys enjoy it and you keep on watching my videos and I hope that you also enjoy the next one because the next one is going to be full glam. I'm going to go hard with the contour with all the techniques that I know because we want to look really snatched for prom if that's your style. If this is your style, then just go with this. Honestly, I really love this makeup look and I feel like it looks good with everyone, but I know some people want to be extra for prom because you only get so many. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up that symbol it would mean a lot to me and subscribe. I know not all of you guys are subscribed. I have more followers. On Instagram than I do subscribers on YouTube so if you follow me on Instagram please subscribe it is the red button click on my channel press subscribe and it would mean the world to me I know I have a long ways to go before I reach my goal number of a thousand subscribers but little by little I will get there with some hard work and perseverance and support from you guys so I love you guys thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye